I'm Chris with Tactical Aviation. In this video, we are going to talk about the axes of rotation. Every aircraft, large or small, will experience three dimensions of movement, pitch, yaw, and roll. And an airplane's attitude is determined by the angular difference between specific axes. These axes are designated as the vertical axes, lateral axes, and longitudinal axes. These axes move with the vehicle and rotate relative to the earth along with the aircraft. In a quadcopter, these rotations are produced by torque about the principal axes. This is accomplished by moving the control surfaces, which vary the distribution of the net aerodynamic force about the vehicle's center of gravity. On a fixed-wing aircraft, elevators produce pitch, a rudder produces yaw, ailerons produce roll. The vertical axis has its origin at the center of gravity and is directed towards the bottom of the aircraft, perpendicular to the wings and the fuselage reference line. Motion about this axis is called yaw. The rudder is the primary control of yaw in a fixed wing aircraft. The lateral axis has its origin at the center of gravity and is parallel to a line drawn from wingtip to wingtip. Motion about this axis is called pitch. A positive pitching motion raises the nose of the aircraft and lowers the tail. The elevators on a fixed wing aircraft are the primary control of pitch. The longitudinal axis has its origin at the center of gravity and is directed forward, parallel to the fuselage reference line. Motion about this axis is called roll. An angular displacement about this axis is called bank. On a fixed wing aircraft, the ailerons are the primary control of bank. The pilot rolls by increasing the lift on one wing and decreasing it on the other. A quadcopter will use four rotors to control the flight path and motions of roll, pitch, and yaw. Rotors 1 and 3 rotate in a clockwise direction, while rotors 2 and 4 rotate in a counterclockwise manner. As the rotors are spinning in alternate directions, the drone will not continuously rotate, but fly steadily in the air as required. A roll tilts the drone from one side to another. However, it does not cause the drone to change its altitude position. These rolls cause the aircraft to move to the right and left on its horizontal axis. When performing roll to the right, the motors that control the rotors on the right side of the drone, rotor 2 and rotor 3, will have their rotation speed decreased. At the same time, the motors that control the rotors on the left side of the quadcopter, rotors 1 and 4, will have their rotation speed increased. The higher rotation speed causes more thrust on the left side of the drone. A decrease in thrust on the right side of the drone allows the drone to dip to the right and change its direction of motion. The second dimension the drone can move is called pitch. The drone tilts upward or downwards based on its orientation and the location of its nose. A downwards tilt will move the drone in a forward motion, while an upward tilt will move it backwards. The science behind pitch is identical to that of roll, except the rotors that work in tandem with each other are switched. In order to pitch forward, the back rotors 3 and 4 will spin faster, and the front rotors 1 and 2 will spin slower. The opposite occurs to pitch backwards. The total thrust remains the same and the drone can maintain a steady altitude even if it's altering the direction of which it's flying. Yaw refers to the direction the front of the drone is facing when rotating either clockwise or counterclockwise on its vertical axis. The angular momentum of a drone, how quickly it rotates, or even if it rotates at all, depends on how fast the rotors of the device spin. Clockwise rotors have a positive angular momentum, and counterclockwise rotors have a negative angular momentum. To yaw to the right, the drone will speed up its clockwise spinning rotors and slow down its counterclockwise rotors. 